Now from the 12 News I team, what happens when a mentally ill person is released from treatment? Well, as one Valley mother found out, in some cases, people with mental illness are released into the streets. And in the case of her son, they end up right back where they started or in jail. Team 12's Bianca Bono has been investigating Arizona's behavioral health system. She joins us with her latest I team report, Reckless Release. Bianca? Guys, Monica Arroyo's son has been struggling with mental illness and drug addiction for more than a decade, and she says she can no longer quietly sit back and watch what she describes as a vicious cycle. So she reached out to us to share her family's story. He's, he's so loving. Monica Arroyo lights up when she talks about her son, Angelo De Leon. He's so loving, he has a beautiful smile. But that's not the Angelo she and her family usually see. It's kind of like a Mr. Jekyll and Hyde. Monica says Angelo was diagnosed with bipolar disorder 17 years ago, and shortly after that, he turned to drugs. Right now, his drug of choice is heroin, PCP, and meth. For more than a decade, Angelo's family sending him to dozens of facilities like halfway houses and behavioral health centers, all options Monica saw as a short-term solution. Over time, Angelo's behavior getting more violent and filled with criminal activity. They finally got him and um, he did serve eight months in La Paz. Most recently, Angelo ending up at Banner Thunderbird for treatment, where his mom says he's never looked worse. This is a completely different level. This is a child looking at your, your child just empty. But she learned Banner planned to release him with nowhere to go. We begged them not to release him. He was discharged on November 8th. You're going to allow him to go out. He can harm himself and others. And a mother's gut feeling right now tells me that we don't have much time. And her gut feeling was right. Nine days later, Angelo arrested by Peoria police. He's accused of pushing and biting a woman, then pointing a loaded gun at her, threatening to kill her. The victim did say that she was in fear for her life and believed that she was about to die. What we're seeing is a revolving door. Representative Nancy Bartow says Monica is not alone. She's heard similar stories from countless Arizonans and has a personal experience with the state's behavioral health system. My brother was uh, a paranoid schizophrenic uh, diagnosed years ago and um, he ended up homeless and, uh, and eventually be being murdered. According to Treatment Advocacy Center, Arizona ranks 48th in the nation when it comes to long-term housing options for the mentally ill. There is no long-term residential treatment available. That facility does not exist in our current system. Barto says Arizona lawmakers want to change the system, looking at options like a long-term secured facility. But until that happens, families like Monica's left praying that their loved ones don't get hurt or hurt someone else. I'm begging, you know, Arizona to hear something has to change with these with these hospitals. The system needs to change. And Monica says she plans on hiring an attorney and filing a lawsuit against Banner Health. Now, this topic of reckless release is a big one. We'll continue to cover it as we dig deeper. Bianca Bono, 12 News.